There were a lot of adolescent kids get into substances from the beginning. Nine out of 10 people start trying substances at that age, and so there was a need here because there wasn't anything like that as a resource. Phoenix Recovery Academy is a high school for students who are recovering from substance use. We are the only recovery high school in the state of Maryland. We've served students from Anne Arundel County, Montgomery County, Howard County, from Frederick County Public Schools, Washington County. So it's a wide range of students looking for this resource and we work with them on their recovery. We have a peer support specialist here working with the students during the day in addition to them taking their high school classes. When we first get a student, we make sure that we have all the academics in line for them to graduate on time or close to the time that they were supposed to graduate. In addition to making a recovery plan that involves everything related to recovery with their requirements that we ensure that they're going to be successful. And when most people ask what I do, I tell them I teach and then I tell them where I teach and like their jaw drops because they're just like in shock, like a 14 year old, a 16 year old getting sober, it's like, yeah, like it is a problem and it's not just something that happens in your 20s and 30s, it's happening at 13, 14, younger and these kids are coming from hard places and it would blow your mind to hear things that they've been through before they even turn the age of 16. My parents separated when I was like eight, and from that it was back and forth, and both my parents kind of used, they like tried to like hide it, but it wasn't really hiding it, you know, like you could smell it, like you can tell when they were high. And when I turned 10 years old, it was one night, I took some weed from my dad, you know, and I went out and I smoked it, and you know, I thought it was cool. For the next like six years, you know, it was just an endless cycle. Coming here, I saw this as an opportunity, you know, because I was so broken, I was so beaten down, I had no idea what else to do. You know, so I looked for the help. I didn't have the people around me to get better. I've had nights where it's 2 a.m., I got something on my mind, you know, I can't get it off, and I called somebody, you know, one of the teachers, the director, somebody from the school, and they answered, you know, and they talked to me for 30 minutes because that's what I needed in that moment. I have several family members in recovery um, and that have struggled over the years, so it's been a part of my life. We're all passionate here. If we weren't passionate, we wouldn't be here. You know, work in a nonprofit, you don't make a whole lot of money doing this. <laughs> and not to say the public school isn't doing great things, it's just they're dealing with class sizes that are enormous compared to what we can do here. We're like four to one ratio, teacher to students, and so we know what the students are going through. We meet a lot with the families to find out what's going on at home, um, in addition to the student and what they have going on here at school, and we really work to make sure that we're nurturing that family environment so that when they leave here, they have family at home. When they come back the next morning, there's family here as well. Our point system pretty much like decides our behavior and a lot of this like it's kind of just like to keep tabs on us to see like how well behaved we are. These are like this is a pretty solid amount of points per month and like it's just like per month like this. I know from us initiating this mission and following it through for the last six years, it's helping a lot of families. There's no doubt. And if something like this was in place years ago, it would have helped a lot more families. Again, we're unique, the only one in the state. Like, no one else is doing what we do here every day. Today is our SPROM event. It's basically, you know, a prom for our students, but it would be a sober prom. Me personally, I know I wouldn't be able to be in an environment like a regular prom because there would be that pressure of everybody around me and I would feel like kind of obligated to partake in the you know, drugs and alcohol. So it's just it's nice to be able to have a break in a way. Get together, dancing, partying, you know, listening to music, eating good food, just like hanging out, you know. It's nice to be able to have that last experience with everybody who I was in school with, you know, the teachers and everything. Like, it's nice to be able to finally get that little send away gift. Thank you.
Right now we're at the Frederick Art Council and um, you know, it's my graduation, you know? I finally graduated, dude. It's uh it's been a full year. I've been in Frederick for over like a year and some change now and um I'm just like a little I'm overwhelmed, man. Like this was uh this is crazy. Good evening, fellow graduates, board members, faculty, family members, caregivers, loved ones, friends, and of course, the board of Phoenix and esteemed guests. It takes a lot for the individual standing before you to graduate. Recovery is a process and it takes courage, strength, and determination to wear this cap and gown today. I didn't think I was gonna live to 18. It was a lot of, you know, just like really hard times, you know, like a lot of drug abuse. And now my life is like a full 180. There are really no words to express what transpires in here. And hopefully you can just feel it in your heart. This is so much more than a graduation. It's an investment on a life. I love the name of the school, the Phoenix Recovery Academy, because you think about a Phoenix rising from the ashes. And really, I mean, what we have here is miraculous. I'm just so grateful and honored to be in the presence and space with you, but understand this, recovery is a process. Do your best to put yourself in front of that angry person. So I hope that we leave here today feeling inspired and feeling grateful and knowing that it's one day at a time. Yeah.